I really love EXP. That's for us is what it's been helping us in growing our business that much. Honestly, first, you know, our buyers feel more comfortable knowing that we have a big brokerage. You know, we are a big brokerage and that's what makes them feel comfortable. Hello, everyone. My name is Tim Hollanden with the Hollanden team and the EXP Realty Freedom team. And I'm here this morning with the lovely and very talented realtor in the Mazatlan, Mexico marketplace. And good morning, Allie. How are you? <laughs> very good, Tim. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Good. Well, thanks for being on the show. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, How's everything in Mazatlan today? Weather's still beautiful like it was. I was there, what, about a month ago? A month ago? Yeah, no, even better. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Make me jealous. It's sunny and beautiful, but you know, the, the, the temperature now, we are maybe in the 25, 23, uh, well, 74, 72, or 70, low 70s. So. Yeah, low 70s Fahrenheit, low 20s Celsius, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, correct. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's, well, it's to kick this fun. off, um, everybody, Allie was uh, the first person that helped me um, open EXP Realty in the Mexico market. Um, Allie's going to tell you a little bit about her background. She's lived in several different places in the country, and we built a very large real estate team in that market. And um, I'd like to just uh, open it up to uh, you and your background. Let's start right there. And then I'll, I'll get into some specific questions as we go on. So, so tell us about your background. Yeah, sure thing. So, well, I I was born in, in, and raised in the South of Mexico in many states. I've been living all over. So I grew up in Tabasco. I was born in Veracruz. Then I moved to Playa del Carmen, Riviera Maya, you know, eh, Cancun, Playa Tulum, all these beautiful places. And I started working there first in the hospitality industry. Uh, I love it. I love all the service, all that area. Uh, but then I started in the real estate full time. My mom was a realtor. So I was always into the real estate my entire life, going to showings when I was a kid with her, <laughs> when she, you know, when, when she couldn't leave me at home. So right. I started getting into real estate in Playa del Carmen, that is a wonderful place for investment, for everything, you know? You've been there tons of times. And then we we met you. <laughs> we met you uh, years ago, and we find out about EXP. Uh, well, but before that, we've been traveling all over, uh, all over Mexico, Mexico City, Guadalajara, well, living in those areas too for, for a certain time. And finally, we settled down here in Mazatlan, in the Pacific Coast. Awesome. Yeah, I was just going to say, geographically, some people probably don't know where that is. So Mazatlan is on the west coast of Mexico. And of course, Playa del Carmen and some of the other areas you've mentioned are on the east coast down around Cancun. Most people know exactly. where Cancun is. So Yeah, yeah. I always point Cancun. That's the reference, you know. So yeah, I'm living from all the Caribbean <laughs> in that area. Beautiful. Now we move to Mazatlan. Yeah, everybody knows the beautiful turquoise water of the Caribbean. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my passion. Color, but it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful down here. And real estate is doing great in here too. It's, it's a good place for investment right now in general in Mexico. And attracts so much people uh, that wants to relocate to Mexico for one thing in a specific. You know, it's, it's a city. Mass Atlanta, you can still feel it's Mexico. Like in in com when we compare Playa del Carmen, right? That is super touristy, super international. You know, when you come to Mass Atlanta, you find out that you can still find real Mexican food. And uh, in, in the places where you hang out are gonna be both Mexicans and and foreigners, ex expats that as we call them down here in and the weather is another reason that the people moved down here to Massachusetts. 
that time. Like oh, we have, weather's amazing. <laughs> we have six months, as you saw, <laughs> a month ago. We have like our summer. Yes, it's hot, but it's nice with the breeze. But right now, from November to April, the weather is is perfect. It's it's just perfect. Yeah, windows open, the breeze blowing through the house, nice and yes. cool, no humidity. Oh yeah, yeah. Perfecto. <laughs> yeah, the, per the perfect weather down here. Yeah. Um, obviously, everyone, uh, Ali's not just bilingual, certainly bilingual Mexic um, with um, Spanish and English, but you also speak a few other languages. I, I think you've told me, well, not fluently, but uh, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. So talk about your uh, your languages, the people that, could, that you can communicate with that are interested in buying an investment property or renting a property for the winter when it's cold in the U.S. Uh, touch on that just a little bit. Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, I, I love languages. I just love them. That's the thing that I like the most. I, I went to college and I took four years of uh, Chinese, Mandarin. And I got my, my certification, the HSK, the number two only, <laughs> and there are more. I'm still trying to, to get into that again, you know, but I'm for, uh, here in my city currently there is no a place where I can keep you know into the Mandarin but I also speak some Italian and some French and now I am just going back to school for more French just to get a, to improve it to get a better yeah. <laughs> so yeah I, awesome. I like that because you know we can meet tons of people down here from everywhere and it's always glad to help them in the language in their language yeah, that's important. Yes. Makes them feel comfortable too that somebody can speak their language and, and have the local knowledge that you have. So you're a great asset. I love working with you. I love sending uh, buyers your way and and uh, even even renters. You do a little bit in the rental market, I understand, and you're you're putting yes. people in short and long term condos and houses and doing a little bit of land uh, sales and a little bit of everything. So. Yeah, some some here, some there, because some people uh, move down here and just give it a try six months. They really fall in love very easy <laughs> with the city and in their plans was to invest, right? Or buy a property down here. Mm -hmm. We take up maybe six months rent out until they find a good property or other or type of life. They, they have their dream house and they say, you know, give me just some land. And we, we have a contractor down here also that we work very well. So we can we can find it for the right property. The, the property that you are looking for, you want to have it done. Yeah. Well, That's I fell in love. It, it's a beautiful, beautiful town. Um, Let's talk to the consumer, the, the buyer that's thinking of moving to Mazatlan uh, or purchasing an investment property. Talk about how does um, a U.S. citizen purchase property in Mexico? Because I know okay. I get that question a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, a good question. So to buy property in Mexico by the coast of Mexico, all the coastline and the borders, we need something for, for foreigners buying property that is called fideicomiso or a trust, you know? That's what we need for foreigners owning property by the coast or by the border. So Mazatlan, of course, is in the coast. We need a fideicomiso. It's very easy. Uh, some people got up the wrong idea on the fideicomiso. For us, the fideicomiso is just more paper one. It's just that. It's a permit that we get from the government, from an office in the government, to allow you to own the property in Mexico. Uh, a bank holds your trust uh, and, and you will need to pay a fee every year that you own the property. The fideicomisos are for 50 years and of course are renewable. But once you get the fideicomiso, you have a fideicomiso for 50 years. Every year you're gonna be paying uh, around 500 US dollars to have the fideicomiso. So it's just paperwork, you own the property, no one is going to take the property from you. That's something that I, I wanted to make clear because there are so many ideas in there. So foreigners buying by the coast, they need a fideicomiso, you just pay a fee every year of um, 500 US, approximately, and that's it. And then you can own the property. Uh, the closing costs here in Mexico, uh, in the notary, 
the cost of closing is between 6% or 7% of the total value of the property. Okay. So that's also, I think that sometimes some buyers are like, why I need to pay all that? And those are the fees for the notary. You make all the process, the deed, all the process, all that you need to own the property. So okay. from, from the budget that you have uh, for the property, you need to budget also a six, 7% on that value for the closing. Okay. So if I understand it correctly, a US citizen comes to Mexico, wants to buy something on the coast, they fill out an application with the government, they end up with a trust that is held by a bank mm -hmm. and the, the real estate is held in that trust and that's a 50 year renewable term yep. and cost approximately 500 US dollars per year for that. Yes, it's correct. And the okay. set of fee for the Fideicomiso is around 2000 US dollars. To get started. Yeah, 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 just okay. the setup. Yeah. So just 2000 up front, about five five hundred a year, and if I'm buying a two hundred thousand dollar U.S. property, I can expect to pay an additional twelve to fourteen thousand dollars to the government for the um, the notary, which in the U.S. is usually a closing attorney or a title oh. company that does all that. But you use a notary to do all those oh, yeah. services in, in yes. Mexico. Yes. Awesome. Did I miss yeah. anything? No, no, you you are on it. Perfecto. <laughs> yes, and also another thing that is common with us, uh, like it's happening with us, is like some buyers. Uh, when we ask them for certain documents, you know, to start the buying process, like I don't know how can be that different, right? I, I don't think it's that different in the states, but you will let me know. Like here, we ask even for a birth certificate. That is something that it was kind of shocking for clients too. Like, why do you need my birth certificate? It's part of the process. We need birth certificate, driver's license, passport, a FMM form. Uh, if you marry certificate, like tons of documents. Like sometimes they are like, but why I need to share that? And we need to keep up those documents to be able to, to, to start the buying process. Okay. Yeah, that's a little different than the U.S. In the U.S., basically, we need a government ID, and uh, that's what you show up to the closing with to prove that uh, you are who you say you are. But it sounds like Mexico might have a trust issue. <laughs> they want to see multiple documents that say the same thing to to verify that somebody's not coming in trying to defraud them. I guess is. is what but it is. actually, I find out that process more common in the Yucatan Peninsula okay that's how it is down there like birth certificate yes or yes uh, social security number you know all this stuff down here in mazatlan is different it's kind of easier to say like yeah. you just ask ask for fmm form it means you came legally through the country right that, that's the only the only reason that they ask for that and uh, and that's it you know certain you know Okay, so it's a little more relaxed in the in the western yes. part of this. Yeah, so and, and it changed all over Mexico in general. Mm -hmm. It changed all over. Yeah. Real estate can be different in just one state to the other one. Yeah, yeah, no different than in the U.S. And a then, lot of similarities, but there are some subtle differences. Yes. Is there anything else a, a purchaser, a buyer should know uh, before looking into purchasing in, in your country? Yeah, well, we always, uh, for example, here in Mexico, the, the buyers, they don't pay for the services of real estate. So the listing part is paying our services as a real estate. Okay. You know? So the seller's so, agent pays the buyer's real estate agent's fee. Yes. Like that. in the U.S. For the most part, that's also oh. true in the U.S. Oh, okay. So the seller is going to pay commissions to the real estate agents in the transaction, right? So we always say that to, to our buyers, just contact a real estate agent. Just contact a real estate agent. It's not going to cost you anything. They know the market better than anybody. Like just come for one week, you know, and decide to go straight with a developer and buy a pre-sale to say. So pre-sales right. are something, a, 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 something that people also hesitate sometimes because there have been some scams 
properties that never finish, you know. I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but we know who the developers are before working with them. So before I'm going to offer a property, I really know who is involved in that and how the developers um, they start this, this, this project, right? Uh, there is something behind when, you know, I, I really don't know how to explain it, but where, when the, where the money is coming from to, to do this high rise, if it's just money from the pocket of the investors or they did something with a bank, some, some, something that they do when the things needs to be right. You know, when they go to the bank and they do this process, you know that the construction is gonna go well but not just investors with their own money that at some point they're gonna run out of money. So we look into all that uh, before taking some of these properties. So just make sure your real estate agent knows the, knows the area, knows the developers, and, and it's better to go with it. Yeah, or they just call you. <laughs> yeah, just call me. <laughs> I can be a real estate agent all over Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you have other agents that uh, actually work for you, uh, work in your organization all over Mexico yes. as well. So oh, yeah. I know you're very well connected. We've got a phenomenal organization and, and growing every day. But, um, you know, coast to coast, pretty much, uh, we can uh, take care of the, the real estate needs uh, of the Absolutely. potential buyer or seller. Um, OK, let's move the conversation to the real estate agent in the U.S. Um, We've had a lot of agents we've talked to that want to purchase a second home in Mexico, maybe sell property themselves in Mexico. And I know Mexico doesn't have a real estate law per se right now. I know, and that's coming rapidly. Um, but talk about the agent that wants to uh, maybe move to Mexico and, and sell property in Mexico and, uh, and or talk about the, the, the referrals um, that I know yeah. you've done a lot of referrals yeah. with U.S. agents as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's been working great. Well, first, I really love EXP. That's for us, it's what it's been helping us in growing our business that much. Honestly, first, you know, our buyers feel more comfortable knowing that we have a big brokerage. You know, we are a big brokerage and that's what makes them feel comfortable. And then uh, working tons of referrals with U.S. agents uh, because they know the transaction is going to go smooth, it's going to be for, for real, you know. And um, we work lots of referrals with many agents that in these areas, mainly in the touristy areas. It is Riviera Maya, where we have agents in Yucatan. We also have uh, Guadalajara, Mexico City, Los Cabos, Monterrey, all over. Uh, in here in the Pacific Coast, uh, Puerto Vallarta too is a huge market. Uh, we work very good with the referrals. That can be the way to work with the U.S. agents. Right now, we don't have uh, the law like in the U.S. for the license. Certainly, there are many states that they require a license, but at the end of the day, it's not that enforced like, like in the U.S. But it's coming. And honestly, again, thanks to EXP Mexico, because we have now finally um, an MLS in Mexico that is starting. I mean, it's, it's, it's still going. It just launched that uh, a month ago, a month and a half. And that is going to help us a lot to change the real estate down here because there are more requirements for the agents that are going to be there. They need, you know, like in the MLS in there, you know who is behind that listing. You know, you cannot put false information or anything like that. And that's going to make a, a big uh, change down here. And it, it will help also, I guess, for more referrals. Yep. Awesome. Great explanation. And for our viewers, I've got Allie's um, contact information scrolling across the bottom of their, her screen. Her name, her email address. She's got a phenomenal website. Make sure and check that out. Uh, there's a lot of property information on that if you want to just kind of take a look around. And of course, uh, her contact phone number as well. So, um, gosh, what else can we talk about? Talk about, um, you know, your, your move to EXP. Obviously, you're part of my organization, the Freedom Team. We've got almost 3,000 agents in the organization. And talk about your decision to come to EXP and, and what the Freedom Team has done uh, for your particular business and the agents oh, that you sure. work with. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, that was amazing. Uh, so, well, when we were living in Playa del Carmen, uh, Frazier, my husband, we were living in Playa del Carmen. He does some marketing, some good marketing. <laughs> and, you know, we start working, well, he started working with you, doing some stuff in there. We finally met in customer when you, you came to visit. Uh, you always visiting us, that's amazing. And yeah. <laughs> we, we met you, we started learning more about what was EXP. And I think it was, you invited us to EXPCon in 2019 before all yeah. the pandemic stuff. So we went to EXPCon in 2019. EXP Mexico having it wasn't here yet, but we still went to EXP Con and we both fall in love with EXP. We knew that was gonna be our business when as soon as it hit Mexico, right? And just to be there at EXP Con and know and meeting all these amazing agents like you, you know, all these experienced agents and the thing that uh, also keep us in, into EXP is to see how the agents, how nice these agents are, always supporting each other. Like you don't, you feel that support, like they don't know you. <laughs> they don't know you and they are willing to help you because you know, we are an organization. EXP is, a, is a owned by agents and we help each other in that the thing that we like the most, being at EXP Con. Like you can see all these agents helping each other and we learn from them a lot. You know, just in those days at, in there, we met tons of new, good people, good agents. And that's what makes us decide when Mexi uh, EXP comes to Mexico, we're gonna join right away. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for that testimonial. Yeah, EXP yeah. has definitely been a life-changing experience for all the exp agents i know anyway um and, and you hit the nail on the head because we all own the company the agents own this company we're all business partners yeah. and why wouldn't you help any other agent in the company you know it, it's it's one of our core values collaboration um exactly. collaboration's been unlike anything i've ever seen you know it's it's not like the smartest agent in your office does the training it, it, it's where i came from and but the smartest agents in the entire company in the world and we got eighty six thousand agents in 23 countries now um yeah, i was going thing. to say that like it's not like to be in an office when you know exactly like that just the, the top agent is the one doing this uh, you know <laughs> or nobody is taking clients from anybody here you know we, we respect all that are very supportive on that even if i'm not gonna get some commission out of that transaction i'm so willing to help you in anything that i can yeah well you've always been willing to help anybody i've ever put in front of you and for that i, I appreciate and we've got a phenomenal yeah. partnership i love 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 working with you and all the agents in your organization in mexico and obviously that's growing you've got some agents coming that are actually u.s based agents as well so yes. It's just uh, been a fun ride. And let's see, we opened in Mexico in, I think it was January or February of 2020, if I remember correctly. So almost three years, you know, in yeah. another couple of months, we'll be three years old in the in the country of Mexico and super excited about that. How many agents do we have in Mexico right now? Do you recall in the whole country? Uh, it's growing, I think, boy, I don't want to say the wrong number. <laughs> okay. If you I, don't know, I, that's fine. Seems like I it was twelve or fifteen hundred the last time I checked, but yeah, I, that was I, months ago. Yeah, I was thinking on the same, but that was yeah months ago. And well, we're gonna have a monthly um, meeting staff, uh, our monthly meeting. So we're gonna right. find out how many agents we are. <laughs> awesome. So we are something around like that. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else you would like our viewers to know about Mazatlan or anything in Mexico or anything yeah. uh, that we haven't touched on, on how you might be able to help them? Yeah, well, just, I mean, you know, first, if you are interested in, in buying and I mean, not that you, if some clients and someone is willing or thinking to, to buy in the near future, 
they can reach out. They can reach out anytime, even if they are not going to buy tomorrow. Uh, you know, we, we like to help the buyers understand first the areas because sometimes we have that. Like some people come in and say, oh, I want to buy a master plan. Have you been in master plan before? No. Okay. So the weather is like this. We can do this in here. Like in master plan, the weather is beautiful all, all over, all the year. And we have tons of things to do. Depends on what the people is looking for. Like for me, Mazatlan is a city that you have everything in. It's a city, it's beach, town, a, you have a sports to go see. We have a big a baseball league, soccer league. Like for me, that's a thing, you know? I like sports, I like things yeah. to do. When we used to live in Playa del Carmen, we love it, but it was so small. It's just a little town at the end of the day. It's so international, but it's small town, nothing besides the beach to do uh, and good restaurants. But we, le we lived there for six years or so, and we knew all the restaurants. We keep going to the same bars, just on the Fifth Avenue, all over and all over. So <laughs> he got tired of that at some point, me too. So that's why we decided to start traveling, finding what area was going to fit us better. We end up here in Mazatlan. And, and that's a thing that I love to speak with the people. I, I love to talk with them uh, about, to, to, to know what exactly are they looking for. There is some people that they want to live just at the beach and they want something quiet, right? And okay, you can go at certain part of Mazatlan, certain area by Cerritos, where you stay, remember? Right. Like a little bit for it, that area is more quiet. And if you wanna go out to the world, you can just go in 10 minutes, you know? <laughs> if you wanna go to the city and have noise and fun and stuff, go 10 minutes from that area and you will be fine. Right? For other people, they like the, the, the color of the water in Cancun and in Playa. So right. that is the only place where you wanna find it. Yeah. Just, just in the in the Riviera Maya, in the Caribbean, that's the water that you're gonna have, the temperature water too, because here in the Pacific, the water can be cold sometimes during the winter, <laughs> during our winter. So those are little things that it looks small things, but when the, there are certain people that are so focused, they have something on their mind, I wanna be at the beach all year long. Well, and Mazatlan probably is going to be a little bit cold for you <laughs> at certain point. So you need to find a place like Playa del Carmen where it's sunny and hot all your day long. So and just to clarify for our viewers, the, the cold water in the winter that Ali's referring <laughs> to is about 75 degrees instead of 86 like it is in the summer. Is that, a, that, is that close to accurate? <laughs> yes, you are right. Of course, of course. That's cold for me. <laughs> I just, you know, I just go and sit at the beach and uh, uh, to see the sunset, I need to bring my hoodie because then I am cold. But yeah, for some yeah. people, like you, it can, it's, it's going to be fine. But yeah, uh, actually, I was talking yesterday to a client that she reached out. Uh, she, she wants to move here. And I, I told her about the weather, how in the lower 70s it was. And she said, oh, no, that's too cold for me. This is not what I'm looking for. And I said, no, no, no. I mean, at night, it's at that, that temperature. Like probably in the day with the sun, it's gonna be, I don't know, 78, 82. But right. nice with the sun, the breeze, I mean, you are not cold at all <laughs> and not hot. So for me, that's the perfect weather. But again, she was hit looking for a place that is gonna be super hot for some reason she wants that. Yeah. And obviously, I, I know now you've got your windows open. I can hear something go by yeah. every once in a while. So, I mean, that, that beautiful 76 degree air is just blowing through your condo. And Yeah, we yeah. haven't turned on the AC since November. Well, since the beginning of November. Okay. First day of November, no AC. Just the windows open, the fan, that's it. Yeah. You know, so that's a good thing too for us. So we, we, we have a, a hard time with the heat in Playa del Carmen. I'm used to the heat. Mm -hmm. I grew up my entire life in the heat, but still it's hard to deal with. <laughs> so now right. here in Mazatlan, it is it's a great, great weather. And that's happening. It's, that's on the Pacific coast, not just, just Mazatlan, you know? Mm -hmm. Puerto Vallarta gets uh, the same 
I think the weather is better here than Puerto Vallarta, but also, you know, you head uh, to Los Cabos, you know, the weather also is, is similar. Yeah. Oh. Awesome place. I thoroughly enjoyed my stay with it. you. <laughs> What'd you say? I said you've been all over Mexico too. Yeah, yeah. You know better than, than us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, lastly, let's talk just to the real estate agents that are maybe thinking about making a move. You know, obviously EXP is exploding everywhere. Agent owned publicly traded company that gets paid at least three ways instead of one. You know, we've got great splits. We've got very low fees. We are an agent owned company. So you've got the opportunity to earn stock in this publicly traded company, which is profitable and has no debt trades on the NASDAQ, I'll say. And then uh, lastly, you can, you can create a retirement income. So oh, yeah. um, if you're a real estate agent out there in Mexico and you're interested in learning more about eXp, please reach out to Ali or myself, but Ali can, is, is bilingual um, if, if you're Spanish speaking and, and we'll need to get this translated and of course as well, but um, please reach out to Ali. Uh, she's a phenomenal business partner, phenomenal real estate agent with eXp. Proud to call her my partner and I just uh, appreciate you so much. Thanks for your confidence in me in, in helping you help me bring eXp to Mexico and you, you're just doing a fabulous job and I couldn't be more appreciative for you. Thank you so much for your kind words, Tim. Uh, it's the same, you know, we love to work with you. I was telling Fraser once, uh, there is no other person that we know like like there is nobody else that we will decide to work with like oh. since day one it was that click uh, you are a wonderful person wonderful agent wonderful friend and i think that's what has been helping us in, in working that way like since day one you've been so kind so helpful and i think we we want to keep growing yeah, we definitely are. And thank you so much for that. I, I don't know that I deserve all that, but thank you. I really appreciate it. And um, well, I'll let you get back to your day. I know you've got properties to show and clients to talk to. And uh, but thank you so, so very much for being on the show. And no, thank you for having me and yeah. look forward for another one. <laughs> all right. We'll do it again. We'll do a, a, a annual checkup and see what's been oh. going on the last year or something in the future. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That works. OK. All right, Thank Allie. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay,